So it turns out there's a new unlimited health glitch in season six. Like, come on, Epic, can we get a season that isn't completely broken? I guess not, because that's not even the worst one we're showing. Let's take a look at some of the most broken of all the glitches, starting with number 10, which is the chicken glitch. Okay, so the chickens in season six have actually been pretty incredible, especially when we see pros using them for amazing strats and drops. But the only issue is you gotta actually keep the chicken in your hand. Well, that's the way that they're supposed to work, but there's a new glitch out there which removes the need entirely. It gets crazy. Basically, people have discovered that if you keep jumping inside a cone with a chicken, eventually the game breaks for some reason and deletes the chicken from existence. But weirdly, while the chicken's gone, the effect isn't. Check it out. Yeah, it turns out you can even combine it with shockwaves now that your hands are free. So it's a pretty game-breaking bug. Definitely don't do it in a real game or else you might get banned. And especially don't try number nine, which is the unlimited health glitch. This glitch is incredibly overpowered, and I think we're all extremely grateful that this one already got patched, but this is the unlimited health glitch, and it's insane. So someone found out that if you jump into a porta potty while eating a slurp mushroom, and then you get your teammate to break it, this happens. It basically makes you immortal to the storm and it'll take a lot of bullets to kill you. Seeing it worked when down two, that's even more unbelievable. Thankfully, like I said, this one was patched so we don't have to worry about it. But something that isn't patched yet though is number eight, which is the invisible weapons glitch. While we're on the topic of porta potties, these things are kind of broken apparently. So not only did they let us get like an unlimited slurp juice in the last glitch, but there's another one out there. This one is slightly more complicated though, but basically people realized that you could swap between weapons inside porta potties and it would somehow make them invisible. Take a look. see what kind of advantage you get from having like an invisible gun. I mean, it's kind of like having an invisible pickaxe or glider. They're still gonna laser you regardless, but hey, it's fun. And it gets even cooler at number seven with the new redacted bunker glitch. Ever since day one of chapter two, we have been super invested in the redacted bunker. This thing has been super mysterious and we still don't know what lurks inside this bunker. But if you wanna actually head in there yourself, here's how. If you place ramps all the way to the roof of the bunker door and then get a teammate to run you over with a car, you'll go straight through the door. And boom, the contents of the bunker are finally revealed. It's, it, it's nothing, there's nothing in here. It's the rest of the mountain. But hey, it's still a cool glitch. I would just say that you probably don't wanna be in this thing when the storm comes though. You're kind of dooming yourself with it. And speaking of doors, let's show off number six, which is the door launch glitch. Okay, this next glitch is super simple, but to be honest, it only really works in battle labs and creative. Basically, if you build yourself a door, you could do an insane trick. Just stand on the corner of your door and then simply close it and this is what happens. Again, like I said, this only works in customs and creative, so I'm glad we're not seeing people fly across the freaking map in Battle Royale. Although this next one is way more game breaking. Coming in at number five, we have another invisibility glitch. Okay, so you know how I said that turning your guns invisible seemed pretty pointless, right? Well, this glitch clearly aimed to solve that problem because it lets you turn your entire body invisible. I mean, we get one of these every freaking season. Are we really shocked? But thankfully, this only works in creative and the one-shot LTM, so it's not entirely terrible. If you go into Battle Labs with the one-shot settings, you can pull off this invisibility glitch. Basically, you get a full inventory of items and then have a sniper rifle on the ground. The whole glitch is basically about cycling between them while scoping into the sniper, and here's what happens. Yeah, for some reason it makes your skin entirely invisible and you can't even see shadows. And this people is why we're super grateful that you could only do this glitch with a sniper rifle and there aren't any of those in season six. Hopefully it gets patched though, just in case snipers come back later this season. Although not all invisible glitches are limited to just battle labs. Which brings us to number four, the invisible chicken glitch. Okay, this next glitch doesn't give you an advantage, thankfully, but it is actually pretty hilarious. The chickens are, okay, they're broken people, okay? They're broken in season six because there are so many glitches with them. So if you wanna stop people from taking advantage, why not just stop them from being able to find chickens at all? And that's what brings us to the invisible chicken bug, where if you simply grab a chicken while jumping into a dumpster, it will show you their hitbox, which looks pretty interesting. But if you do it for a second time though, the chicken goes completely invisible. Now no one's gonna find these guys. That's what I'm talking about, people. Fight glitches with glitches, it's perfect. But now we gotta learn about number three, which is the revive glitch. 
All right, I think it's safe to say we've all been in a situation where we got to pick up our teammate, but we just need some extra time before we could do it. Well, this glitch that people have found in season six lets you get 10 more seconds before your teammate is eliminated. And I think what's most surprising is that this is probably the easiest glitch I've ever seen in Fortnite. It's so simple, literally anyone can do it even accidentally. Basically, if you revive your teammate and open your inventory, for some reason, it just stops their health from dropping for 10 seconds. It's that simple, just pull out your inventory. Who would have thought? <laughs> But this next one is absolutely diabolical. Coming in at number two, we have the indestructible chickens glitch. Okay, so we've seen people get chicken abilities without the chicken. We've seen them launch themselves across the map with chickens. I mean, we've even somehow got chickens to be completely invisible. And yet there's another chicken glitch out there that's probably the craziest of them all. There's a really weird thing that happens when you drop chickens down through your edited builds. It basically disables them, but in a different kind of way. Okay, the easiest way I've found to explain this is that you could still use their abilities, but they turn completely invincible. So you get an infinite chicken for like the rest of the game. I gotta say though, it gets really funny when you try your hardest to kill the chicken. Like, trust me, it's, it's just not going anywhere. The thing just won't die. What's wrong with it? <laughs> but before we get to our final glitch, we got to show you our honorable mention, which is the invisible wolf bodyguard glitch. People found out that if you straight up kill a tamed wolf by exploding a car, then it will go completely invisible. Now, if this isn't game breaking, I don't know what it is because now I'm gonna be super paranoid of invisible wolves attacking me. They could be around any corner, people. But finally, it's time for our final glitch. Number one, we have the smoking umbrella glitch. There's a very odd glitch with Lara Croft's Contrail this season, and while it doesn't give anyone an advantage, it's definitely really cool to look at. If you equip her Spelunker special Contrail, then you gotta head to the spire around the map. Make sure you got a chicken, and then launch off the tower. And then if you pull your glider out, it will actually glitch the Contrail into merging with your glider. Like I said, it's not a glitch that gives you an advantage or anything, it's just kinda cool to look at. I don't know, man, if I saw someone gliding down on me with smoke, I'd probably think they're on like fire or something like that. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click on screen right now. This has been Tommy, and you're watching Top 5 gaming.